this like a uh, Mickey Mouse playing on the keyboard here next to me. Playing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bubuchino is wearing. Ah, you know what I'm Yo guys, in another video with Lambi. So happy to be back here. I mean, where have I been? I've been always here, but yeah. What is in my hospital bag, you know? Yeah, we have a bag ready because the doctor said the baby should be here anytime soon. I have got, maybe it's a little bit too big, but this is what I've got here. It's usually my sport bag. And I have got it now paid with all the items that I need for the hospital. First item in the bag is this here. Is a case with all my chargers for the phone. And I have also inside here. Oh, what? It's weird. And I also thought it's weird. But I was talking about it all the time because I have read a lot about it on, uh, on Pinterest that maybe in some cases uh, I hate this for the white noise maybe you want to play like just a white noise for I don't know four hours to help the baby to calm the baby to help the baby go to sleep and this should do the magic for you now I don't like if this is going to work for me because I do not have a family room anymore I'll probably be sharing depending on how full the hospital is going to be but I want to be on the safe side if I end up by myself. Play this either for the baby or for me to listen to music. Then we have obviously the towel. Like I'm saying, I needed to put in at least a towel. Bathrobe that Ali gave me for for Christmas. And it's really nice. It's very nice. I thought of something that I would just wrap. Rap, rap, rap. Like if I want to just put myself in a wrap like this, super easy, and I should be able to easy, easy breastfeed, easy breastfeed. I have this as well. Now I bought these items, I would say about three times. For a very long time, I would say probably since the beginning, when I started my periods, I have only been using relets. I the closest I have come to using this stuff is panty liners. So I've only been using relets. Then the first one that I bought were like the always underwears. They are made in a way that the absorbent is already included in the underwear. You use it once and after that you throw it away. They are quite expensive. I think a pack of eight costs about 10 euros or so. I bought those ones because I have seen them a lot of good reviews here on YouTube and then my midwife didn't really support it. it was like they are covered with plastic and they are more likely to cause infection and they are not thick enough you might need to change uh, the absorbent every few hours I don't know how often maybe three to six hours or so but you might need to change often so that won't help you I went back and I bought a normal always like because I was looking for something just really flat that I could easily put under my normal underwear but that was not working neither uh, again the hair balm I didn't like it and then I went back and I bought this specific one from DM like a and these are like, they are not covered with any, I had to open them and check if they are covered, they are not covered with plastic and they are quite thick. A couple of clothes as well, but this is going to be interesting because I did not really buy a lot of maternity items. I also didn't buy a lot of, uh, if anything, related to nursing and breastfeeding. All the items, all the clothes that I have at the moment, uh, they belong to Alessandro. So. Two t-shirts, like very big ones, should be comfortable, easy to wear, and I don't know why, but the hair family said I should have also some extra large t-shirts. So I have these ones, and then I have um, a set of pyjamas, these also belong to Alessandro, so they're like extra, I think they're large, but I thought this is the best because my pyjamas are small. A little bit tight I want something a little bit comfy easy to breastfeed easy to move around so I picked up this 
I got this uh, at the very beginning of the pregnancy from Alexander as well. Just something very soft, accommodating. I, I can put it pretty much up to here, just a little below the breasts. And they should work also postpartum. Girl okay. like me, I have obviously, this is just a normal scarf for my hair. I cannot go anywhere without this. And it's satin, this is like a, a satin scarf. And again, I got this from Ali. Like, I don't even know what I got in here that I got myself, but this is also from Ali. Two, I have two separate cosmetic bags. This one here is filled just with, you know, shampoo, body lotion, toothbrush is already in here, and toothpaste, a lot of shea butter. A friend of mine told me I really need to go with lip balm, but I thought, okay, good. If I don't have the lip balm, I'm just go, going to go with shea butter. One item that I think is missing here that I'm going to go get immediately after this video and add is the cream. It's more like a, a paste. It's more like Vaseline. Something very thick, a thick balm that I use for my nipples. And, and I've heard from every new balm that is an essential to have immediately after giving birth. This is full of just underwears and what else do I have here? Yeah, yeah. I have underwears and then a lot of just uh, warm. These are just my warm socks. I need something to keep my feet warm if it's too cold. Also, so I have this. This is like my nursing bra. It's not a normal, it's not sold as a nursing bra, but I think I'm going to use it. I it's something very seamless and elastic and very soft. It feels almost like uh, I'm wearing a thin shaper. So I'm going to use this as a nursing bra and I've also been using this during pregnancy. And I have a second one that I'm going to take with. I'm going to take two. But the second one is the one that I'm always wearing at home. So this is the one that I'm, I have picked in the bag at the moment and then the other one i'll just go with it on yeah depending on the contractions i hope we'll be able to do that but i have a very small pacifier here but i don't know if i'm going to need it obviously my flip flops you know if you're going to the hospital it's not going to the gym you don't want to stay in the hospital shower <laughs> without flip flops so i have this ones here Still deciding if I should take the baby clothes with me or I should leave them at home and then Ali brings them when he's coming to pick us up but I think I'll go with them anyways and for that I have like uh, this so cute little pink baby suit it's like an overall Ta -da -da for the baby something thick and warm and then I have, this is like a cord, it should be on top. And I have two other layers to put underneath. Little light pink. He's a girl, obviously, I have some pink. I wasn't open to buying pink, like pink items at the, at the beginning, but eventually I got also some pink items that are second hand, and I think they're silk, really cute and feminine. I have two of this. I have a white one, a very, this is a very small size, like 46. Then this is uh, a normal size, which is like a 50. I am, I think I would just go with both of them to be on the safe side. Because last time my, my hair barber or dwarf or midwife was like, no, you cannot only buy items that are 60. If the baby is like the two of you, very you are small, you're not like big people, you're probably going to be like between 56 to 46 to 50. You need items to buy things that are small. Mini gloves, I had in the hospital, they don't give you this. So I have mini gloves, mini socks, and Alessandro keeps saying, I don't know which one, what is the difference between these two, which one are socks and which one are gloves, but I have those. Two I'm going to take with, yeah, baby beanies, 
I have got two as well. One is a little bit larger than the other, so I think I'm gonna take two to be on the safe side. Otherwise, I give them until then the hair balmy comes and uh, help me out to decide, and then a little bit of a, something to put underneath. What did I learn? Two. I should always put the baby in two layers. But now this look like if I have this underneath, it's going to be three layers. What? Two layers. Two on the upper bodies. Two on the lower body. So let's see. Oops. And we are ready. It's a waiting game. Every single day we use the wrong line. Are these the contractions? Every time I move around, ask, is it happening? I feel like I've got everything, but I'm, 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 I don't have any experience, so I might be missing some important items as well. So yeah, ciao, ciao, ciao.